I'm Diego Sanchez, COO of HW Media, and this is 10 Minute Talks. My guest today is John Rogers, Chief Innovation Officer at CoreLogic. John, welcome to 10 Minute Talks. How you doing, Diego? Lovely to be here. It's so great to have you. Before we dive in, could you give a 30 second introduction of yourself and CoreLogic? Sure. So um, I'm very fortunate. I look after research and development for CoreLogic. So go after all the, sometimes we refer to as Horizon 2, Horizon 3 initiatives. So um, new solutions for our clients at 18 to 36 months out, and we, we bring them uh, to market. Uh, CoreLogic, if, uh, if you're unfamiliar, so we really help everyone um, find, buy, and protect probably their biggest asset, their houses. So we uh, support you know, a good proportion of the real estate uh, community, touch on, I think it's about 95% of all the loans through the origination and servicing uh, processes and uh, just slightly under that number in the insurance space in terms of uh, underwriting claims. So we're, we're in a very fortunate position. Chief Innovation Officer, it's a great title and it sounds like a really fun position. What what does it mean to be Chief Innovation Officer at a big data and technology company like CoreLogic? Um, it is, uh, I probably should keep this quiet, but it's a dream job. <laughs> so it's a, it's a, the ability to leverage and exploit all the insights and data that we capture. So imagine, as I just described, we, you know, we touch a lot of the housing ecosystem and all the workflows from a realtor to an insurance underwriter. Um, and because of that, we collect 22,000 plus data sources. We have a 21st century data manufacturing plant. And then with, with, those, with that uh, amazing set of insights and data, um, we can you know, produce amazing insights. So an example, um, we're, we're in pilot mode with an affordable housing solution really to identify land and try and solve the conundrum between um, providing an ROI to the land and building developer and obviously uh, affordable housing to uh, a certain demographic. Uh, so it's, it's just, you know, it's a very fortunate position to be in. And we, we work with a lot of our clients and uh, partners to to drive to drive these initiatives. And you've built this. Uh, you call it the Discovery Center uh, in, right. in Dallas. Yeah. It sounds like a really neat facility. Could you tell us a little bit more about what you're you're trying to achieve yeah, with this yeah. Discovery Center? Yeah, no, no, good, 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 good question. So, um, uh, I took this position about probably about three, four years ago now in CoreLogic and. When you look out through history, when you talk about innovation, research and development, um, unfortunately about 90% of these groups actually fail for a variety of reasons. So everything from sometimes they get, they get given a P&L and you start competing against the various different business units internally to not leveraging the current assets and products already in the company and you tend to go left field. So we took a, uh, maybe a, a bit of a unique uh, uh, position, we built uh, Discovery Center, as you mentioned, which is our R&D facility. And I guess the simplest way I can describe it is, um, if you've ever seen the movie Minority Report with uh, Tom Cruise, mm -hmm. it's pretty similar to that. So super advanced. Um, you can talk to the room. You can find insights. You can look at macroeconomics. You can look at every single house in the United States. And it's a it's an amazing experience. And we've we've built it for three reasons. One is obviously to co-innovate with our clients. So, you know, we're very fortunate. We bring in uh, many of our C-suites across our core industries. Think about you know, re uh, real estate, mortgage insurance, government, plus uh, adjacent sectors. Think of like retail, manufacturers, and so forth, plus major technology organizations really to co-innovate and create that catalyst for new products and solutions to, to, to help the, the real estate economy. Secondly, obviously, we just use it internally. It, it's if you think about Core Logic, um, uh, we have a vast array of assets. We support multiple sectors, multiple pursuits, and sometimes it's quite hard to understand all of our capabilities. So we bring a lot of our uh, internal groups from your product, our data groups, technology groups, sales groups, and so forth through the center, really to ideate. And you know, a lot of our new solutions, say like One Home, which is a, like a Netflix experience between the realtor and the consumer. That's uh, the genesis came from this room. Um, climate change. So we have got a climate risk analytic that uh, 
we work with a lot of the agencies on, uh, and that's uh, now in the market for, for, for consumption. And then thirdly, hopefully, it's you know, it's a it's an inspiring um, experience. So it's, it's a little bit like going to Disneyland. So uh, uh, if, if you're a data geek, um, it's a it's a good place to go to. So uh, yeah, I need to take a tour the next time I'm in Dallas. It sounds like a really cool facility. You're more than welcome, Jay. More than welcome. Yeah, so we'll have to we'll have to book that. Um, so you have this discovery center, and you also have your discovery platform. And I assume there's some interrelation between the two. That's right. That's right. You talked about exactly right. you talked about twenty two thousand data sources flowing into this platform, which is an incredibly rich pool of data. What problems are yep. you helping clients uncover and solve? with the data set in your discovery platform? Sure, sure, so great, great question. So, you know, uh, uh, obviously uh, after the experience in, the, in our R&D facility, the discovery center, obviously the next question is, how do I get access to all of this rich insight? So we rolled out um, our discovery platform last year, and it's really, uh, uh, it, it, it's our property and location intelligence platform in real simple terms. So you get access to a, all of our data sets, our models like um, home price index, uh, market uh, market risk indicators, all of our property trans, uh, all of the mortgage transactions, and so forth, and it allows clients to build new insights. So I'll give you a couple of examples: working with a major lender, looking at risky CBSAs, or working with a, a major uh, retech uh, company, uh, and actually building their entire commercial model so that they can get Series C funding. So it's it's the uh, hugely diverse uh, set of use cases. Um, we also provide pre-packaged insights. So think about you know, top of funnel analysis, lead generation, underwriting, compliance use cases. I want to do understand market share. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a, an exciting uh, platform. And really we, we want to be, um, we want to take friction out of the system easy access to our insights and answers. And then also really importantly is, and, and sometimes we use the phrase, it's got to be interoperable with all the cloud and tech stacks. What that really means is that you've got a, an amazing insight, you know, a new lead. I need to plug that into my CRM platform so I can run a marketing plan as fast as possible. So we're interoperable with all the cloud stacks. Um, you think of you know, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Coming down the track is, you know, obviously companies like Snowflake and Databricks, which are major data and data science platforms out there, amazing technology. So, um, yeah, it's it, we've had, a, you know, just over 100 clients come, uh, using the Discovery platform today, uh, both in our core industries and in uh, adjacent like like retail and manufacturing. So it's uh, a great way to help our clients, great way to get to insights very, very fast, and then actually leverage them in their operational processes, which is obviously sometimes that's a, 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 a tough thing to do in an expedient manner. So are you actually building connections from your data set into your clients' systems, you know, like a CRM for a lender? That's right. So, so, so we're uh, um, easy to make connections into all the cloud stacks like Amazon, Google, um, and Microsoft Azure, where a lot, obviously a lot of our clients exist, and then the CRM platforms can then easily pick up on, on their cloud and tech stack uh, very quickly. So it just we're just taking those um, constraints and development costs down as far as possible, because integration is always sometimes tough, and your movement of data is tough. Think about all the security compliances uh, that you'd have to adhere to. So we're, we're very... Uh, conscious of that. I'm going to take, a, take that friction out of the system. How many data scientists and analysts do you need to work on a data set that has 22,000 sources? I imagine it's a big number. Ah, so uh, um, there were 22,000 data sources. That's, those are all the inputs. So, so over the last few years, we've literally built a 21st century data manufacturing plan. That, that, that's what core logic is at its core. Um, and we'd literally take everything from a fax of a fax. So think of all the hundreds of millions of documents uh, that we uh, use OCR technologies, ML technologies to read and take out the, the pertinent data points all the way through to point cloud data. 
point cloud data being 3D data like satellite data, aerial, drone imagery, structure sensor imagery, and everything in between. So we produce that manufacturing plant. That's obviously uh, you know, core to our business. It's a fairly big team. And then we have over um, 100 data scientists in the company, uh, many with PhDs right across, you know, and also uh, with a lot of market knowledge in terms of, you know, whether you're in the, um, the mortgage business, the insurance business, uh, to build uh, models. I think, I think we have just over 200 models that uh, we've produced so far in the company. And obviously we, we want to keep wrapping that up with new models like our climate risk analytic, uh, which is, you know, really a predictor model looking into the future about uh, uh, to the year 2050 to understand and measure, model, and mitigate the, the impacts of climate for, for each and every property in the United States. You know, I'm going to have to have you back on, John. We've just uh, made official a partnership around this discovery platform where our editorial team is going to be drawing insights from this incredible data set that you have. Um, so we have to we have to chat again when we've started to to publish some of those insights for for our audience. We would we'd love to love to, and it's uh, you know it's a pleasure working uh, with yourself, Diego, and, and Housing One. We look forward to uh, the continued partnership. Yeah, absolutely. Like and likewise, John. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much, Diego. I hope you enjoyed this ten minute talk with John Rogers, the Chief Innovation Officer at CoreLogic. If you want to learn more about CoreLogic's Discovery Center, stay tuned. 